As temperatures dip in some parts of the country, the political heat is rising in Bihar as polling draws near and political parties give their campaigns one final push. The election for the 243 seat Bihar Assembly is being held in three phases. 71 constituencies will vote in the first phase on the 28th of October. 94 seats will go to polls in the second phase on the 3rd of November and third phase on the 7th of November will cover 78 assembly seats. The ballots will be counted on the 10th of November. Around 7.29 crore people including nearly 78 lakh first-time voters will decide the fate of political stalwarts like Nitish Kumar as well as those of rising sons like Tejasvi Yadav and Chirag Paswan. Alliances have changed since the last Bihar Assembly elections in 2015, which saw the RJD, JDU and Congress combined come to power. However, Nitish Kumar walked out of this grand alliance in 2017 to return to the BJP-led NDA fold. He continued as Chief Minister, but BJP's Sushil Kumar Modi replaced RJD's Tejasvi Yadav as the Deputy Chief Minister. 2020 might be the younger Yadav science year of vengeance as he takes the field as the chief ministerial candidate of the Congress RJD Mahagad Bandhan. The RJD has bagged the lion's share and will be contesting 144 seats, Congress 70 seats and the CPI ML, CPI, CPM will be contesting a total of 29 seats. The Grand Alliance is however a few allies short with Vikas Shil Insan Party and former Chief Minister Jitain Ram Maji's Hindustani Awam Morcha quitting the alliance and joining the NDA. The ruling coalition may have gained two allies but it lost one very important ally with the Lok Jan Shakti Party led by late Ram Vilas Paswan's son Chirag deciding to part ways with the NDA in Bihar over differences with Nitish Kumar. While the LJP will fight the polls alone, it will field candidates only against JDU and not the BJP. The Saffron Party is contesting 110 seats, the JDU 115 seats and smaller allies like the Vikas Shil Insan Party and Jitain Ram Maji's Hum will be fighting from 11 and 7 seats respectively. There are other minor political parties and alliances in the fray as well. Former NDA ally Upendra Kushwaha's Rashtriya Lok Samta Party has joined hands with Asaduddin Oasi's AIMIM. Chandrasekhar Azad's Azad Samaj Party has formed an alliance with MP Pappu Yadav's Jan Adhikar Party. Whether these smaller parties can dampen the Diwali festivities of the bigger ones by dividing their vote, or Nitish Kumar beats anti-incumbency to retain his chair, or an ailing Lalu Yadav sees his son lead his party to victory will be clear when the EVMs are unlocked on the 10th of November.